Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, welcome to my reflection for today on the 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The Kingdom of God was always in the mind of Jesus. We are given three parables in our Gospel today. These parables are about the hidden treasure, the pearl and the dragnet. When we talk about parables, biblical scholars would say that they talk about the Kingdom of God, what it is all about and how it comes about. In the Old Testament, the Kingdom of God refers to the provident and protective kingship of God over the chosen people. The fruit of this kingdom is a whole moral order of peace, justice and mercy. In the New Testament, Jesus proclaimed that the Kingdom of God is near at hand. So, he called for conversion and repentance and for watchfulness. He also said that the Kingdom of God was for everyone. If you ask me what my own definition of the Kingdom of God is, I would admit to you that I would refer to the teachings of the Church. It is when we accept and do God's will and promote the values of God's kingdom, truth, justice, love and peace. If these values rule our lives, it means that God's kingdom is reigning in our hearts, in our community and society. But take a look around us. Can we say that God's kingdom reigns in the hearts and minds of people? We can say yes and no. How can we realize this kingdom into our lives? For me, it is just simple. I will give you some practical guidelines for a Christian. Share your time, talent and treasure to the needy. Love more simply, offer hospitality, support the bereaved, admonish the sinner, spread the good news of the Kingdom of God, counsel the doubtful, comfort the lonely, bear wrongs patiently, forgive all injuries, free your heart from hatred, Free your mind from worry, expect less and live simply, and pray for the living and the dead. These are very simple and very practical. It is not impossible to do, and let us do them joyfully. God bless you all.